Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Katie and we're gonna go over this week's Tabata workout. So we're gonna have five stations, two exercises per station. You're gonna do each exercise for 20 seconds. You'll have 10 seconds to switch. You're gonna do each exercise four times and then you're gonna rotate around the room one time. Are you ready, Katie? Ready. Okay, first station on the ropes. We're gonna do our warrior way. So both hands on those ropes, overhand style here. You're pulling those ropes up and then throwing them back down. So she go a little bit lower with those hands here as well. She pulls it back up. Now that rope wants to pull you to the side. So you're gonna wall those abs nice and tight. It's like you're churning butter here, everybody. Up and down, stopping at shoulder height and throwing it back down. The next time you come back to this exercise, you'll face the other direction. So you get two sets in each direction. The second exercise, you're coming over the wall. We're gonna do our wall squat. So we're gonna get low on that wall. Hips, same as, or I guess, Legs, thighs, parallel to the floor here. Chest up, shoulders back here. And we're gonna reach high overhead with that ball if you want to. So you hold that slam ball, slamming overhead. You can also hold it out away from your chest. You can hold it in at your chest. You can put it between those knees, squeezing that ball, or just go with your body weight here, whatever you can do to challenge yourself and do it well. We're back and forth on those two exercises. From there, we're heading over to our suspension trainers. And we're gonna be working on our low rows to get started here. So for our low row, moving plank position, palms turned up toward the ceiling. Katie's shoulders are down away from her ears and she's pulling her hands toward her rib cage here. So trying to keep those elbows and hands low, squeezing those shoulder blades together, focusing more on those middle back and those lats here as you pull. If you wanna make this a little heavier, you step further in. If you wanna make it lighter, step a little further out. But remember, you wanna get a good quality number of reps here, so you're really going for speed as you pull yourself up. The second exercise we're gonna do here is our plank wall. So for that plank wall, if you're gonna go down to the floor push-up position, down to those forearms, back up to those elbows. Glutes squeeze tight, try to move those hips as little as possible, and back up and down. Try to switch arms that you come up with first if you can't think about it, walling up those abs, and of course, if you need to, you just hold that high plank or that low plank here for that 20 seconds, and we're going back and forth on those two exercises. From there, we're coming out to the blue floor. We're gonna be doing some long jumps. So, you're gonna load and explode here. Swing those arms back and then explode forward. Nice soft landings. Load, explode. Notice how Katie's using her arms for momentum. So she's swinging them back and then swinging them forward, giving herself all that momentum. Now, if you need to shorten that jump, just go a little bit shorter here. Make sure that you're focusing on nice, comfortable, soft landings. And of course, if the jump is too much, we're too hard on those knees, just go into those squats here with that body weight. The second exercise is our super band pull apart here. So Katie's gonna get into that standing plank position. Quads are tight, Watch glutes that. squeeze tight. Wall up those abs, ribs tucked toward the belly button, glutes squeeze tight and the tailbone tucked toward those ribs. And now she's focusing on squeezing those shoulder blades together. She pulls that band apart pushing that air out, she pulls. Now she's gonna stop, when she comes back in, she wants to stop where there's still just a little bit of tension in that band, and then pull it apart. Now, if you need to make this a little bit lighter, you can either go wider with your grip on the band, or you can just grab one half of the band to pull it apart. Again, focus on squeezing those shoulder blades and those shoulders doing that work here. From there, we're heading over to this end of the floor, where we're gonna be doing some pulse squats. So, for pulse squat, we're gonna go low here, but we're not going all the way down, we're not coming all the way back up. She's going as fast as she can, staying in that middle zone here, up and down, up and down as quickly as she can here. And then from there, we're gonna come over to our boxes and we're doing our box walkover. So, push up plank position, one hand on the box, you're gonna press up and over, going as wide as you can here to push yourself up and over. And then if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, you'll add that push up in. So squeeze that shoulder blade, crush that box with the hand that's on that box, switching hands up and over here. Of course, you can do these from your knees as well if you need to, or you can just hold that plank for that 20 seconds if you need to. From there, we're heading over to our dumbbells for our renegade row. So we're coming out to that push-up position here. There will be some room on the blue floor if you need to here. Big plank position, squeezing those glutes nice and tight, squeezing that shoulder blade, pulling that elbow to the ceiling, dumbbell up to the chest here. Now if you need to, it's easier on your hand, you can put one hand on the floor and just do one set with one arm. When you come back for the next set, you'll do one set with that other arm back and forth. You can also do these from your knees if you need to as well. And then our second exercise in this station, we're gonna stir the pot. So, plank position here, 
forearms on that ball and making those circles. So notice how Katie's moving through her shoulders here. She's not moving through her toes, so she's not pushing herself through her feet here. She's stabilizing through her core here and making those circles. Start small and get bigger if you're feeling comfortable here. Go slow. This isn't about speed on this one. If you need to, you can do these from your knees. You can also just hold that plank on the ball or hold that plank on the floor if you need to make that modification. Okay, that's our Tabata Tuesday workout for this week. <laughs> Great job! <laughs>